Each one of Vantage Point's markets has its own market property screen. To access a market property screen for a particular market, find that market name on the tree. Remember to use the Find feature if you need some assistance with this. After locating the market, do a single right click on the market name and then select Properties from the drop down list. The General tab displays information such as the exchange on which the market is listed, the trading months, contract size, point and tick value, description, trading hours, and contract expiration information. Please note that these specifications are determined by the exchange on which this market is traded and are always subject to change. Click on the Inner Markets tab to display a list of the 25 most related markets, and then the Advanced tab to access information about the, the symbol, the symbol override function, and a link to service bulletins that displays useful information about market symbol changes. Click OK to close this market property screen and now follow a similar procedure to view the contract property screen. Left click on the plus sign to the left of this market to display the list of available contracts. Find the contract of interest from the list. Do a single right click on the contract name and then select properties from the drop down menu. This contract property screen provides a variety of practical information about this market and contract. For example, the provider data symbol, the contract data range, the last trading day. Keep in mind this was determined by the exchange on which this market is traded and the actual data from the selected date. And this is the data that you downloaded end of day from your data provider. Vantage Point simply reads the contents of the data provider folder and displays the information on the contract property screen. Click close to exit this screen. And there's one more thing. The markets tree provides quick visual information about Vantage Point's registration status. For example, this copy of Vantage Point is activated but not registered. And you can see this because there's a small yellow lock icon to the left of each category name in the markets tree. After I register Vantage Point, the yellow lock icon no longer appears to the left of those particular categories that are registered. That completes our look at the markets tree. You now know that the markets tree is an organized list of categories, markets, and contracts. It includes a find feature that locates markets by name or symbol. It displays category registration information. It is used to open charts or reports, and it provides access to market and contract information. I hope you enjoyed the markets tree tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please visit the Market Technologies Learning Center for additional tutorials.